Hey guys, how are you? Welcome back to my channel. On today's video, I'm gonna give you a review and a comparison of the three Laura Mercier tinted moisturizers. The two first tinted moisturizers that I've tried from Laura Mercier have been in my favorites at some point or another. But then recently they released a new one and it's called the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer Light Revealer Natural Skin Illuminator. When they sent me this one, I wanted to know what could be the difference between this one and not the matte one, because the matte one is pretty obvious, but then the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer, the Natural Skin Perfector. I will give you a review and I will also show you and apply each of the tinted moisturizers so that you can see how they look on the skin. And they are actually different, but they have a few things in common. If you wanna see which of the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizers will work for you, depending on your skin type, then just keep on watching. You will see me applying these three tinted moisturizers on my demo and you will see close-ups of each and every single one of them. But one thing that you have to keep in mind, I'm not wearing primer underneath any of my tinted moisturizers and I'm not wearing moisturizer or skincare underneath my tinted moisturizer. Not even wearing my SPF. When I wear tinted moisturizer, I usually do wear SPF, but I don't tend to wear a lot of things underneath of my tinted moisturizer since the reason that I would have to purchase a tinted moisturizer is to have a one-stop shop. That means that I would like it to give me a coverage that will make my skin look better than my own skin. Even it out without covering it completely, then I would also love for it to give me hydration and SPF. And that way erase a few steps from my overall makeup routine so that I can go out the door super quickly. If you have almost flawless skin and you don't want a lot of coverage you can just go and wear it and it will give you uh, depending on the one that you choose more hydration or more luminosity or keep you more matte you can also use it if you have things on your face that you want to cover the way that I use it since I do want to cover a few things like my under eyes and discoloration or hyperpigmentation that I have right here since I want my coverage to be where I want it to be I love using tinted moisturizers to sort of even out my skin in a way to give it a veil and then I will use concealer in the places where I need to cover. One thing to keep in mind as well is that my skin is a combination to oily so my recommendation since I'm a makeup artist I will give you which one I would use on clients if I would use tinted moisturizer or which one I would recommend to my clients that take makeup lessons with me which one is my favorite because of longevity but also keep in mind that when you're using a tinted moisturizer you're not usually wearing it because you want your makeup to be super long wearing as an event makeup you're usually wearing it for an everyday and you're usually the type of person that is not full glam full face of glam makeup every single day and that of course I would want something that would last on my skin enough but also something that will not make me look like a grease ball because I can do that on my own without applying any makeup on my face. I will get oily on my T-zone, mostly on my nose and on the top of my forehead. I have a normal skin type in the perimeters of my face so I don't have an issue there. I can wear anything and everything and it will last all day. And even long wearing foundations tend to just budge on my nose. So let's start with the original. You can see that I've used this quite a lot. I love these. These retails for $48. They have a lot of shades on every single one of them. I think they have the same shade range on each of these tinted moisturizers. Neutrals, warm tones, and cool tones, and they have it from the lightest to the darkest shade. This is SPF 30, and this is, like I said, the Natural Skin Perfector. I have mine in the shade 2N1 Nude and I think this is my perfect shade. The other two I have in darker shades. And the mini one is $25. The full size one has 50 millimeters or 1.7 ounces. And then the mini one 
comes with 0.85 ounces. So you get basically half the product and it will cost you a little bit more because 48 for the full size and 25 for the smaller size. So it's actually a little bit more expensive when you buy the small size. It's not super expensive enough that I wouldn't recommend for you to try it in the small size if that makes any sense. So it comes with a lot of product. You don't need that much of the product and it's for me an addictive type of product. This one, like I said, I really love it. It gives me a natural look. I will insert the clip so that you can see me applying it on my skin. This has really light coverage and in my opinion, it's not the kind of product that you can build up. I'm gonna read the claims while you see me applying it on my face. This is a liquid formula, has a natural finish, it's hydrating, light coverage. It says here that it's long wearing and it has SPF. On the skin type for this one that they recommend, use it, it's normal dry and combination skin type, not an oily skin type. This is a best selling tint and moisturizer with a new and improved formula infused with skincare benefits for up to 24 hour hydration and SPF 30 sunscreen to protect. Usually when I use this, I use my blurring primer from Laura Mercier, which is actually my favorite mattifying or blurring primer since I have pores right here. But this is a moisturizer, even though it looks pretty on my skin, is not long wearing on my nose. So this will get oily quicker than the next one that I will show you. Uh, but it's still beautiful. I was using this like a crazy person when I first got it. It was on my favorites. I still use it from time to time. It's just phenomenal in my opinion. It's the everyday go-to tinted moisturizer if you want a natural skin and you don't mind uh, having light coverage. The second one that I have is the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer Oil-Free Natural Skin Perfector. So these two say natural skin perfector. The first one, the original one, and then the matte one, the bottles change in color, but they actually have the same um, style of packaging. They are all squeezy tubes, the last one, uh, it's a little bit different in packaging. This is SPF 20 instead of 30, and this is an oil-free version. So yeah, I have this one in the shade 3W1 Bisque. I wish I had this in 2N1 or 2W1, which would be my perfect shade. But you can see that that wasn't an issue for me. I've worn this a ton. I actually wanted to finish a foundation that I took with me to the US when I was using this every single day. Did wanna finish the other one and I didn't wanna take the two of them because I knew that if I took this with me, I would use this every single day and I needed to get rid of the other foundation. So that tells you a lot. If I had to just not put it in my makeup bag on my trip because I knew that I wouldn't grab for anything else. This is really wonderful and this I love for my oily skin because it has a light coverage, but I think it has a little bit more coverage than the last one that I showed you. You can feel that it's more uh, tacky in a way, like it's more matte like it's supposed to be since this is the oil-free version. So this I would recommend if you're more on the oily side. I really love it. Okay, so this one again is $48 and they do have mini sizes of this one as well. It comes with the same amount of product, 1.7 fluid ounces for the bigger one. It says here that it's a liquid formula, matte finish. It has SPF light coverage and oil free. This one doesn't say that it's long wearing, but I find it on my combination skin to be more long wearing than the original one. Truly love, love, love this one. And this has a lot of stars at Sephora as well as the first one. This is a lightweight tinted moisturizer with a cold favorite formula that provides sheer coverage and blurred matte finish. Definitely agree with the claims. You can see that this is my favorite. This one is free of parabens and sulfates, has oil absorbing powders, which help the skin be shine free. It has a demi matte finish, which I can agree on that. Uh, it has licorice root extract, which soothe irritated or troubled skin and vitamin E. This one gives you more of a poreless look and blur fine lines. So that's the reason why I love this one. I won't tell you guys that this doesn't let my oil speak through, but this will be the most long wearing one on me. And even though it has sheer coverage, I feel that this one has more coverage than the last one that I showed you. You will see on the clips, I don't know if it's because the color is different, but I feel that this one has more of a light 
plus coverage. It's still light coverage, but it has a little bit more than the last one that I showed you. This one I would recommend for oily and combination skin types. This will be the better choice for you for sure. Uh, unless you love a dewy glowy look, every single product, any foundation product, not only the Laura Mercier products, I set with my Laura Mercier translucent powder, which is the best powder for my oily T-zone and to make my makeup long wearing. So. And then for the last one, this is the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer Light Revealer. And when these two say natural skin perfecter, this one says natural skin illuminator. The broad spectrum of this one is SPF 25. That for me, it's sort of funny because the first one it's 30, then the matte one it's 20, and then this, this one is 25. This one I again have in the shade 3W1 Bisque. I've worn this three times already and then I'm wearing it right now on my face. Uh, it's already, of course, set with my Laura Mercier translucent powder, but you will see the clip. This is super, super glowy. Coverage is sheer. I love the way that this one feels more like a skincare than the other two, for sure. You feel the consistency is different, the way it glides on your face is different. And today I applied it with a brush and I used a different brush while applying each of the tinted moisturizers but I've used it with my fingers and this has a consistency. I think all of them do that more than the other two. It has a consistency that it will lock itself in when applied with your finger. When you're applying it with your finger, it sort of has, if you have tried the MAC Face on Body Foundation, that one where you're applying it on your skin and rubbing it on your skin, it will start to lock and set on your skin. If you have a drier skin type, I would highly recommend you using it and applying it with your fingers so that you don't even have to set it or maybe set in your T-zone if you prefer a matte look on your T-zone. I think this will be long wearing for drier skin types because of the locking feeling that it has when applied with fingers. Okay, so this one again comes with the same amount. It doesn't have mini sizes, at least not on the Sephora website. And it says here that it's a natural skin illuminator, liquid formula, radiant finish, hydrating, light coverage, and it says here that it's long wearing. And I find that the long wearing claim can be real, even on my skin type, but the thing is that I feel that this doesn't hold my oils, or it lets my oils speak through, so it will rub off my nose, but it will stay put all over the rest of my face. And it has the same long wear as the other two, but it's to do it for my nose because this is extremely glowy. It's so glowy and beautiful that you don't really want to set it because it sort of loses uh, its shine. The illumination for me is the selling point of this product and when I set it, I feel like it loses a lot of it. This is a tinted moisturizer that contains radiant pearls hand selected for each shade. That's just wonderful. Then the coverage is that it's light, the finish is radiant, the formulation is liquid, and the SPF, it says here 30 and under, but this on the bottle says 25. So this one that has luminescent pearls to brighten dull skin and reflect light. Also has French algae, helps visibly improve skin natural radiance, plant-based hydration which promotes water retention by supporting a skin's resilience and vitality. Perfect for a no makeup look. It contains shade specific pearls. It creates a look of radiant, a smooth skin that is truly your own. And I don't know where I read it. I know that this one doesn't have the same type of SPF as the other two. Okay, you guys, so the difference between the three tinted moisturizers, you can see this one comes in a sort of mauve pink packaging. This one on a nude packaging and then this one on a dark, dark brown packaging. This one I think doesn't have octinoxate. I think that's the ingredient, but also the finish of the tinted moisturizers is different. So this is a natural finish. This is a matte finish. And then this is a radiant finish. So if you love to glow and if that's your look for summer, then this one can be used for that. I would use a primer with all three of them if I wanna just reduce the appearance of pores, 
but the one that makes my pores look smaller is the matte one. I get a lot of pores right here on the center of my face. In the end, my favorite is still the oil-free version. I know that all of them are beautiful. I will keep you guys updated. I love the finish of all of them because I love the natural finish of tinted moisturizers. Even though I love a full glam look, I think they are just perfect for every day for a quick and easy look. And if you're going to the beach, if you're going on vacation, I think tinted moisturizer is always the way to go. It's easier to apply with fingers. You don't feel like you're wearing a lot of makeup on your face, but keep in mind your skin type and keep in mind how long you want your makeup to last. Because for me, the more radiant a product, the less it will last on my skin type. Hey guys, so I decided that for the next couple of days, I'm going to be trying the Tinted Moisturizer Light Revealer and I'm going to be seeing the wearability of it. Because the last time or the last few times that I've used it, because I've used it about three to four times before when I was just trying it out to review it. I wasn't paying that much attention since I have a little baby that uh, takes all of my attention right now. I, I just come here and film super quickly. So I wanted just to try and see for myself while I'm filming other videos how this product actually performs when it comes to my oily skin. Because I told you guys that this was gonna be the least long wearing of them all. But yesterday at night, before I removed it, I noticed that it gives me the most flawless appearance to my pores. And that just didn't make sense to me at first because the one that makes my pores disappear completely more than anything is the oil-free version. But this one actually makes me look poreless when combined with my Laura Mercier translucent powder. So I'm gonna do a close up. I applied it today at 10 a.m. So now it's 2 p.m. So about four hours now um, that I applied it. I don't have any blush. So you can see, cause I'm gonna be filming a blush video showing you all my Laura Mercier uh, blushes. So I'm gonna do a close up so that you guys can see four hour wear and I haven't touched up. My, the tip of my nose is getting a little bit shiny, but just a little bit amount of shine, not oil is peeking through. Uh, the rest of my makeup, it's for me, in my opinion, looking flawless and I still, look poreless. I have no pores, just the tip of my nose is it's trying to show a little bit of wear. I'm with a baby most of the time, so when I'm putting my baby to sleep to take a nap, he will rub his face all over my chin. He will sometimes try to suck on my chin <laughs> if he's trying to fall asleep, and if he's fighting to fall asleep, he will put his little hands on top of my face. So I was telling my husband, I'm gonna really see now how my uh, base products perform since Mariano is always trying to fight off his sleep, and if I have my makeup on and I'm trying to put him uh, to sleep or just to take a nap, he will just go crazy for a little while before going to sleep. So I just wanted you guys to keep that in mind. It's not that I'm just sitting down all day, I'm with my baby the entire day. I'll come back later without touching up my makeup and I will give you an updated version of this one. I'm hoping that I can wear it for at least eight hours, but so far four hour wear is magnificent on this product, even if you have an oily T-zone. Hey you guys, so it's 4.29 right now and I applied this, uh, this foundation was applied at 10 a.m. I've been filming videos, then taking care of my baby again, then having lunch. I don't know if my foundation dropped off right here because he tends to <laughs> try to suck on my chin after he's breastfed and I'm trying to make him sleep. Yeah, a little bit of it rubbed off right here, but I put my face on his face as well. So, and I know that now this is getting really, really oily. I'm gonna do a close up. And at this point, at this point of oiliness, I would definitely either remove my nose, try to uh, fix it with a little bit of blotting paper and powder. But if a lot of it comes off, then I would definitely remove my nose and do my nose again. That's my favorite tip to just uh, refresh my makeup when I want it to last throughout the day. Keep in mind that the Tinted Moisturizer is not a product that has to be extremely long wearing. And for me, being oily on my T-zone, really oily on my T-zone, this is performing amazingly. This has light coverage. I'm I live in a pretty humid weather. And you can see that the blush, the bronzer, everything is still 
uh, pretty good. The only thing is my nose, and like I said, any foundation that I wear will get oily on my nose. So I was just giving you guys a bad review, telling you guys that I would get oily all over. I need to try this with a primer underneath, but this is without a primer and it's performing amazingly. So I'm gonna try to blot on camera so that you guys can see, but first I'm gonna do a close-up so that you see what I'm telling you. That the Tita Moisturizer is getting this disrupted on my nose, which is right here. So you can see that this is flawless and that my nose is pretty oily. You can see how it shines right here. You can see that it's rubbing up a little bit on my nose, but that's it's because it's moving around because of the oils. And I have a uh, a little bit that's missing right here. Yeah, it's looking pretty flawless so far. I will see if I can do either eight or 10 hours depending on my baby's schedule. At least I'm gonna blot it to see how it will perform throughout the rest of the day. Okay, you guys, so here I have my blotting paper and I know it's gonna be pretty gross, so just hang on. You can see right here that the makeup is not coming off which is a good thing, just a little bit right here on the side and that the oils are pretty much gone. Let me see on my mirror. Okay, so a little bit came off on the tip of my nose. I'm gonna just put powder on top of it because that would be realistic for me. But already I know that my nose doesn't have any product right here and it's settling into my pores. The rest of the face looks okay. So I grab a big amount of powder and I press it and I will do a close-up so that you guys can see that I don't have any product right here. So you can see that right here I don't have any product. But it looks it looks fine, it looks okay. And from afar this looks perfectly nice. I would, of course, every time I do powder on top, I reapply my contour or my bronzer on my nose so that it doesn't look stark white. Hey guys, so this is gonna be my last check-in. It's actually 9.16, so 11 hours and 16 minutes this foundation or this tinted moisturizer has been on me. And I touched up when I showed you last time and you can see that even though it's looking a little bit oily, it's just the tiniest amount and I didn't remove my nose like I usually do and dip my nose again. It's just a good, good tinted moisturizer. It's actually long wearing. You can see that right here my blush got patchy but I was also playing with my baby and stuff. It's looking a little bit um, also shiny and pore enhancing right here and the tip of my nose is rubbing off like it was before. But everything else is still in place except for the parts right here where I touch my baby when I'm holding him for him to take naps. So yeah, my blush is faded right here, but 12 hours, almost 12 hours is a lot of time. So I just wanted you guys to see how good this tinted moisturizer is. And usually, like I said, we wear tinted moisturizer for shorter or just more casual outings or casual things every day. Things, not like a glam event. That's it for the review. Now let's let's just go and watch the last part of the video. That's it, you guys. I will leave everything that I'm wearing on my face below. I'm wearing mostly Laura Mercier because I'm gonna be filming a video with swatches, but real face swatches with every single shade of the Laura Mercier blushes, which you guys know are one of my favorite formula of blushes. Also, leave an emoji today or just let me know below which one would you choose for your skin type according to this review. And if this was helpful, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And that's it, you guys. I love you and I guess I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.